Introducing first, weighing in at 190 pounds, fighting out of Providence, Rhode Island. He is the leader of the unit. He is the one, J.T. Sun. Live from the Calumet Center in Dayton, Ohio, this is Wrestling Revolver in the Ring of Destiny. I'm Bork Torkelson here with the Drama King, Matthew Rabel, and we are pumped for what is destined to be the biggest show in Revolver history. I mean, they're calling it Destiny for a reason, Bork, and there is a lot of destiny set to be changed tonight. And right now, I mean, the, the fates and destiny of these fans are in the hands of Mr. JT Dunn as we kick this thing off. Two-time Revolver World Champion JT Dunn. And it looks like... Uh, he's oh, he's got something to say. to say. Big surprise. Oh, I mean, the unit <laughs> always has an important message or two for wrestling first fans. First things first. Anything. Welcome back to Ohio, JT. He's not popular here. We know. He is, however, on a three-match winning streak against the likes of the Death Dolls, Myron Reed, and the tag team of Jessica and former Revolver World Champion, twice over, Matthew Palmer. Are you done? As I was saying, he's a patient man. First things first. Time Revolver World Champion. These folks do not care. First things first, I need you all to shut the fuck up. I have all night. up tonight. You see, I chose to come out here first to give you JT Dunn versus Takeshka to start the goddamn show. That's what I wanted to do. showed up to the fucking building tonight. Takeshka is stranded in Atlanta. It's true. But JT Dunn's here. Your favorite wrestler, JT Dunn, is here. And don't you worry. I'm not going to disappoint anyone. I have officially announced an open challenge. Oh, there we go. Bork, you gonna take it? Oh, Come on, man. I am New shoes look ready to go. I'm a commentator, not a wrestler. If anything, you can get in there. Well, it looks like somebody already answered the challenge, baby! Oh, shit! Sammy Callahan! That's nepotism! Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's not nepotism. he runs the damn place! Well, yeah, he runs the place, but that was an open challenge! Anyone can answer an open challenge! 
And now we have Sammy oh. Callahan versus JT Dunn to kick things off. I mean, it's no secret JT Dunn uh, has, has spewed a couple of words here or there about Sammy Callahan oh. over the last year or so. Well, JT Dunn and the entire unit have been the biggest thorn in Sammy and some would say Revolver's side for over a year now. I know we're supposed to be impartial, but I, I, I would have a hell of a time picking a winner here. We've got our boss on one hand and one of the greatest Revolver champions on the other. No kidding, and we know what Sammy Callahan likes to do with thorns in his side. Let's just say he doesn't pull it out and throw it away. No, he pulls it out, stomps on it, rips it apart, plants some barbed wire on it, makes it bleed, puts it in a blender, and then chews it up and spits it out. Don't forget spits on it first. Also that, yes. It's all very unsanitary. As right now, Callahan has this Dayton, Ohio crowd riled up. They want to see him knock JT Dunn's lights out. And I, said than done. Bork, well, this match, I guess, has officially begun. They haven't even stepped foot in the ring yet. No, they haven't. Some liquid courage as if the death machine needed any. But just got knocked, some of that beer knocked out of his mouth. The fans here tonight, very partial. Whoa! Not care for Dunn, but that was incredible. Could be over that quick. Whoa. Just two there. What explosiveness from JT Dunn. Like I said, two-time Revolver champion. And the first time he lost it was only for a single day. Oh! We're going to make an example here of the death machine, Sammy Callahan, in his own ring, in his own company. Maybe so defiant to JT, even as blows are raining down. Sammy flips JT the finger. We're not going to get in JT's head very easily, though. Oh, a master of mind games, a master of manipulation in his own right. And a master of the death by elbow. Whoa. But as to your point, Bork, defiant to the bitter end is Callahan, and he pays for his crimes. Into the cover here, and a kick out by the death machine. Subtle nod to Takeshita with that knee there. We're looking forward to the elbow versus the knee, but uh, I certainly don't think anyone's gonna complain about having Sammy Callahan versus JT Dunn to kick off Wrestling Revolver in the Ring of Destiny. No kidding. Need to be fair. Anybody against JT Dunn is going to be a crowd favorite in this building. That's true. Oh, boy. They say it's the, Oh, my God! Right in the chonies! Oh, JT Dunn's... He, he got him by the unit! He does! The unit's unit! Oh, the most God! unit in Revolver! Oh, my God, he nearly ripped it off. What goes up must come down! Jokey's there from Sammy Callahan. JT Dunn, uh, I think he's going to be speaking a couple octaves higher for about a week or so. At the very least. Sammy. Oh boy, is it time for, for that Cactus Driver 97 oh, denied. Dunn had it well scouted, dropped right to the knee. He's no fool. Oh, what a straight right hand. Ooh. Oh! JT Dunn with a counterattack. Yeah, absorbed the first strike, gave one of his own there. No, oh, there's the spear! Oh! Just a two count once again for JT Dunn. Those fans of Dayton, Ohio rallying behind Sammy Callahan. Skeletor there looks on our official check with JT Dunn, making sure uh, his crop is indeed qualified to continue this match. Absolutely. And now Dunn, Dunn is lining up that death machine here, looking for that discus, but no! <laughs> Gallahan cuts him off! <laughs> Boom! There it is, the cactus driver! It's over! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Death Machine, Sammy Callahan! And what a way to kick things off here at Wrestling Revolver Ring of Destiny. And if there's one thing 
I think this audience here in Dayton can be assured of is that they are destined for one hell of an evening. What a win by Sammy Callahan.